بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم Okay, in this uh, various lectures, I will give it to you related to the topic of nature and structure of science. This is a my own perceptions. I will uh, I will present uh, my own perception uh, about nature and structure of science and its application in an, uh, in education sciences, especially in a region like our region, uh, Middle East region. Objectives throughout this. Uh, video will be student will understand the concept of science relatively it is uh, there is no such complete definition for science and students will understand the aspect of science one aspect of science because the rest of it we will leave it to the next few videos so let us start about this vision and trying to give you our own ideas related to the nature and structure of science Nature and structure of science. What is science? This is a common question we have. Uh, various students asking us about what do we mean by science. Some people they telling me uh, uh, social science. Could we consider social sciences? Is a science really is a science? Uh, languages or science is only related to the chemistry, physics, biology, mathematics, geology. Something like that. <clears throat> there is no complete definition of science. So here we are, I'm talking about science. What I mean about science, natural sciences, faculty of science. There is no complete definition of science. Most definitions meets on. Most definitions are related to, uh, related to each other by. First, science is an organized part of knowledge, including facts, concepts, principles and theories that help us explain natural phenomena and this definitions has prevailed on this region of the world middle east region we still have this controversial between old and modern school with teaching science topic science is a method of research and thinking this is another definition of science. If I only give the title for it, I will not going to uh, discuss it directly. I will leave it to the next video and lectures. The third one, science is an integral between knowledge and process. And I prefer this, uh, uh, this definition. is an integral between knowledge and process. Uh, it's not all an information. It, uh, uh, it might be a process of thinking, a way of thinking that will lead us to, uh, to create or to invent something in you or to understand phenomena around us. These definitions look very different. However, it affirms that science has three distinct aspects. The first aspect and the only aspect we will talking about in this uh, video, science is a knowledge structure. And I, I used to use this uh, definitions for a long period of time until I uh, received my master's degree in education. Uh, that's changed my ideas related to the science because I belong. I was uh, I was told by the old fashion of, uh, of teaching about science, how I was very good in memorizing things and know how to use it, uh, but I was very bad in invent things and create something anew. So science is a knowledge structure. The definition emphasizes the knowledge, is, uh, the knowledge side of science. Knowledge side of science. So uh, it has a special structure that is, uh, distinguishes it from other studies. This is what do we mean by the knowledge side of science. It has a special structure. And because it has special structure, you have to memorize this special structure. You have to know this special structure and you have to use it. There is no such, uh, such way to think outside of the box, trying to uh, explain things in your, uh, by your own perception. You just follow what others give it to you, what others built, and you have to follow. So this definition includes scientific facts, concepts, principles, and theories. So this is related to scientific facts, concepts, principles, and theories. Organized into a special structure, we organizing somehow 
of the various branches of study. I mean, each branch, uh, branch has its own structure, like physics has its own structure. We start from, uh, from mechanics, then we, uh, we are going to electricity, we are going to thermal physics, then waves, phenomena, then we will explain electric, uh, electricity and magnetism, and then modern physics, something like that. This definition has prevailed for a long period of time in all over the world, not only in our region. And it is still known in third world countries, unfortunately, for several reasons. From my own perceptions, from uh, my own perceptions, I, uh, directly I have to mention that I took this information from, uh, from uh, an amazing professor here in Jordan, in fact, of education, but I agree with them. I could see how he was amazing and take this reason this reason the needs of these countries and the, their pe uh, people for science and knowledge after the colonial era and its bad effects of illiteracy this colonial era uh, gave, gave us uh, illiteracy people ignorance diseases and poverty so after the independence of these countries they found themselves uh, uh, in an urgent case, they need many people who are, uh, uh, who are who are good in educations. So it's focus on knowledge, uh, it's focus on uh, illiteracy, and ignorance, diseases, and poverty. So the only uh, focus on this region of science just give the people the information, uh, teach them how to read, how to write, how to memorize things, and we will be good after that. This is was the perceptions after colonial era. The countries felt that their priority was to teach their children to read, write, and to arithmetic, and therefore focus on knowledge rather than modern educations. Modern education, we have to focus or concentrate on a process and on a knowledge. This is a this is a very old fashion of teaching. Most of these countries adopted this uh, this me method of teaching. Uh, this method is only a concentrate and read, write, uh, in reading, writing, arithmetic methods, and how to memorize things. This is cause uh, pretty really uh, a problem in this region, and it is uh, uh, exists till nowadays. Me as a teacher for 16 years, I could tell that it is found till now. These states, the, the other reasons, these states regard human knowledge, its own human knowledge, as a national heritage to be cherished. So the state demand that this heritage be preser uh, preserved and transmitted from one generation to another uh, through memorization. So we use this method, memorization and indoctrination without modification or changing. Here I have to mention this uh, method. This is how we treated things uh, from this point. I, uh, I have disagreed to my teacher because most of the heritage in this region uh, was uh, related to the religion and uh, language, Islam and Arabic language. Here we have something distinguished than others. We consider ourselves here, we consider our religion was very good at its beginning during Muhammad sallallahu era and it's turned to be bad. This is how Muslims should, should believe. They should believe the best era for Islam was in Muhammad sallallahu era and it's turned to be bad on, uh, on a slow, uh, in a slow motion. And Arabic language as well, uh, because it's related to the Islam, because it's the language that transmitted Islam for us. So we might use this reasons if we apply it on natural sciences, but we we could not apply this reason, the reason or adopt this reason in uh, in our study for language and for religion. So I have to uh, uh, I have to mention this point here. What does the definition imply? How does this definition imply? How do these factors affect the educational system in each country? This is the most important part of, the, uh, of this video. Scientific knowledge becomes absolute. Most students believe that is absolute. 
so it is not subject to modification or alteration most of us I could regarding uh, regarded myself as a student I only believe in any formations I was give uh, uh, I'm not able to think about it or try to critics things accumulating scientific uh, scientific knowledge without aims so most of us gaining a lot of information without aims we have no such kind of uh, uh, no this factory a big factories in the United States or in Western countries we don't have it we are not able to use our uh, knowledge our science knowledge in, uh, in any application way so we only accumulated scientific knowledge without aims so this is uh, this is one of the trouble we faced here in this region. The learner's mind is frozen and thus creativity and scientific discovery are disrupted. You could relate this uh, uh, this point to the previous point because it is frozen. We just we're just absorbing the knowledge and information without any aims. The science teacher's job becomes to transfer and memorize the scientific material to students without an intellectual discussion. We don't, I, regarding myself, I don't have this kind of discussions, only uh, uh, my teacher only writing on the board, I will have to uh, take notes and memorize it. So the teacher relays on the lecture methods, very boring methods. We have, uh, we have no such ideas of modern educations. John, John Dewey education and the, uh, or uh, John Piaget and the learners become passive and listener to the subject only listener good students who was listen uh, who was listened to the uh, lecturer other than uh, discussion something like that assessment methods and processes are limited to the amount of information the student has as, as long as you have more information, that means you are brilliant students. You, if you have less information, you are not that much good students. The curriculum is built on a narrow concept by emphasizing the outputs of science because it gives us only the, uh, the outputs, no uh, methods of thinking or uh, scientific thinking or scientific knowledge and neglecting other aspects of science. This is one of the most important issue we have. Science becomes a disjointed body of scientific knowledge whose branches rarely relate to one another. Um, jumping from uh, mechanics to electricity and from electricity to modern physics, uh, this is this has caused trouble for us to uh, to relate things together and make uh, and makes it uh, logically in our minds and thus the learners feel that the, uh, there is no link between reality and science in uh, in uh, in our community. So we know the how this definition implies of course travel in our region. Here, Middle, Middle East region, we have many troubles here, and uh, how this definition for the science is a knowledge structure. We have the reasons, the most important two, uh, uh, the most important reasons for this uh, for this definition here. How we use it, well, I could say that most of our teachers, uh, uh, teachers. Uh, went to west to uh, to west to study physics and they they was amazed by the uh, modern, uh, the modernization in west when they can, uh, when they came back they give it to us as a direct outputs without any without any scientific thinking thank you all i hope you all remain safe and unharmed during these diseases thank you and goodbye